Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Whims Legacy, where so much of our Nieschlings' lives are determined by the whims of the Nieschling gods, also known as our random generators and my favorite pair of dice. You guys should know the drill by now, you guys know how this works, if not, I highly recommend going back, otherwise you're going to be very confused over our blind genes challenge and all of the other rules that we have in place, but since you guys have probably been following along, let us carry on. Oh boy. All right, so, oh, that really cool healing sound. I love how that works now. And unfortunately, we have had a death. Sneepo! I am so sorry, Sneepo. I did not mean for Sneepo to die. That was not my intention. It was an accident. I feel very sad about that. Uh, we're going to, once again, try to save Jarva, but I just cannot seem to get him out of the grasp of that terrible plant. I can't believe I walked him right into that. He was such a nicheling of justice who just wanted to rescue his brother it is so tragic oh my gosh meanwhile over here we're going to go ahead and see there we go if Ninuro, uh, Ninuro, his father having no idea of the loss of one of his sons and the soon-to-be loss of another will continue gathering a food for our tribe and otherwise we've got a lot of bundles down here that would make some good dinner and unfortunately a blind baby girl that makes four blind babies <laughs> Four blind babies. She's the strongest one we've had yet with seven attack too. But four blind babies out of five. I think that Koki and Johnny need to just admit that possibly they shouldn't be having any more babies at this point. Um, I just don't think that it's going to quite end well. But they have unlocked Peacock Tail at least. And we did unlock Stinky Tail! Yes! I didn't even notice when that happened. All right. Well, we have actually unlocked a ton of great genes and could probably move on to the next island, which the random roll so long ago actually said was the swamp. But I'm having a really fun time on this island and we're running into so many unexpected things like Minturo and uh, the birth of Hikori. So I kind of want to keep going for just a minute. So let's go ahead. We're gonna let Cora take the hit. She's gonna jump on in, get chomped by the plant, but we're gonna jump over and immediately try to attack it to pieces. Boom! We did it! We attacked it to pieces and released Cora without even getting hurt so that she can triumphantly jump over to her young daughter, Emerald, who must be so impressed by how cool her mother is and possibly have another baby since we have 16 members allowed in the tribe and we've got a little bit more room now. Ah, wonderful. And we have hopefully made this area safe for just a second. Though Kiro's nose, if not his eyes, say that there is a mystery nicheling in the grasses. So I think that Rana, his sister who is kind of like the eyes of all of her blind brothers, will come over here with him. And clearing away this danger flower would be fantastic because it would finally let us claim this tree trunk, which I really want to do. So if we keep killing the flowers off until one of them grows up in the fruiting variety instead of the eating variety, we should be able to use that little tree stump that the bundle is actually on safely to wander around and explore our island from. And speaking of wandering and exploring the island, there we go. Koki, I think, I think it's finally time. I think that Johnny and Koki are finally ready to admit that they should stop having babies uh, and that they want to focus on trying to just tend to the family that they do have. So they have a whole bunch of very strong blind babies, which is not really what you expect. Uh, so we'll, <gasps> we'll have to see how that goes. Um, okay, A, we've got to get Rana away from this plant because it is unfortunately a dangerous plant. B, what? What? This is so cool. Oh my gosh, Vonro and Kuduk Duke, who is actually the son of Minturo, and Minturo only has one day left to live, and I have to release a Nishling because we are actually over our limit. Um, and we had two baby boys with peacock tails. Oh my gosh, what a fun little twist. Look at the whims. Look at them! They're having the most interesting babies! I love this! But I do need to release a nicheling, because uh, I am over the top on nichelings. Jarva is about to die. I did my best. Lakori is also about to die. Um, I'm over the top right now. Kirduku? Kirduku? He's got water body, which is kind of fun. 
And then we've also got Kiro who has water body and that's kind of fun. And Minturo is actually about to die. So I think we can temporarily release this son and then invite him back in because he can't go far because he's he can't see. So he shouldn't go too terribly far. Yeah, he's staying right by his mom. So I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. And then this plant grew back and unfortunately it is a dangerous one. So it's almost like we had a whole bunch of blind children who are meant to go around taking out dangerous plants. And we also had an unhealthy baby right over here. So let's give off a purr so that uh, Kudukduk will have as long a life as he possibly can. And I'm going to scooch Cora over here. She should be safe next to her babies while they're young. I'm going to let Emerald, her eldest daughter, maybe maybe wiggle her way over here like curious about what she might find oh she's got a beautiful little green peacock tail that's so cute and i think that kakios oh there's a healing plant over here yes i think that kakios uh ha has a beautiful voice like a little bit of an accent since she was a wanderer we added into the tribe that Hikori just finds very enchanting. And so Kakios and Hikori are going to come over to do a little exploring. They'll kind of stay with Emerald and now hopefully they'll make a good pair. I really think that they would. Uh, oh, and actually these are two trees and between it grows one of the fruit trees. Look at that. I really think that Kikios loves this spot and Hikori really loves uh, hunting the fish that he can hear swimming in the shallows right over here. So they might make a really good group all together. And then on this side, I think that Rana has a responsibility to her siblings. That's going to be a dangerous plant now, so I really need to be careful. I'm going to move Koki over so he can start doing some hunting. And then I'm going to let Johnny she might do some calling so we can see if we attract any other interesting new nichelings all right there we go let's gather up some food ninuro has been a diligent food collector his whole life his son dukta is happy to follow in his footsteps but for kiro and for rana they want a little bit more for their tribe so we're going to try to do some hunting and we're going to try to take out this dangerous plant as soon as we can and then for minturo he is his final day of life he did not have a single person outed child but i think he's pretty happy he, he became mates with one of the strongest females over here he got to eat he's got such a cool tail and he he saw quite a bit and he left behind some really amazing children a daughter that looks a lot like him with beautiful green eyes too and two very very interesting sons who will definitely catch the eye of a lovely female down the road so he with all of his mysteries i think minturo is ready to leave this life feeling pretty satisfied with what he has accomplished so rest in peace old man oh there he goes <sighs> all right so that's kind of hard we lost we lost this nicheling i just lost the quarry i was hoping that it just needed like one more attack but nope we just lost the quarry too um we're gonna move little cuckoo duke over we're going to move little vonro over and cora wants to take out this dangerous plant and we can actually invite back into the tribe the strong brother so Mias is going to jump over here Kuduk is going to jump over here and join them and they're going to start doing some attacking of the danger plants and then I'm going to let Jani just continue to call from up here and she might attract somebody pretty interesting meanwhile Korra is ready to kind of throw herself into like a digging wrestling match with the danger plants but I need a few more of my fighters if we're going to do that. So let's call Hikori over and get him ready. Cora can kind of roost on the nest to have her baby so she won't be like diving in. No! Town emergency! Oh my gosh, it's an emergency! Come, 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 come! Ah, that's all it took? Just two hits from Kiro? <gasps> we can totally take these plants out! Yes! This is fantastic! Rana, jump up here! Oh my gosh, this plant was actually was actually sitting next to a double, a double spot. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, we're gonna have to go ahead and take those stumps because that's way too important to just ignore. Uh, and I guess Hukori, with all of the blind other nichelings coming, he can stay over here by uh, Kikilos' side. And she seems pretty content with that too. So I think that's gonna work out well for them. And little Emerald, 
can continue to do a teensy bit of exploring over this way. I think she has a little bit of her mother's boldness in her. Uh, oh dear. Dang it, I'm gonna get Hikori sick! That is not what I wanted! Oh, curses. Alright, well, we're about to get Hikori sick. Don't get sick, don't get sick, don't get sick, don't get sick, don't- Ah! There's sickness everywhere! Curses. Alright, so. 15 members. Um, give me just a second. A Barina! A Barina has come to check out what's going on on the tree stump. I don't think so, buddy. And now he's gone. Boom. It doesn't really help to have, like, blind nichelings on top of these stumps. But I think that Dukta's eyes are just, like, shimmering. I think that maybe he's fallen for Rana. Because <laughs> this is a lot to take in at once. Like, this beautiful female shows up out of the blue. It just starts just defeating a Berina that showed up to alarm Dukta from his position of gathering up the essential food that he has been for so long. And I, I think that it's kind of almost a little bit of love at first sight, if you ask me. Meanwhile, Kierduk and Mies are jumping over and getting ready for attacking a plant. And Kierduk is not very strong, though, so I don't know why I even bothered bringing him. But we'll let him follow his nose over here where he can help us to gather some of these plants as long as we have somebody in his, like, who can be his eyes for him. And Kuduk Duk, brilliantly, vibrantly colored, very attractive, I suppose, and distracting Kuduk Duk, will start wandering around. And Kunuro has a gills. So we're going to let Korra. I think Cora is kind of like slowing down a little bit. She's ready to just sort of take care of her children, do a little bit of digging. Her children, Von Ro, has heard of another tailed nicheling, a distant uncle of his that he's gonna come to like learn from and see what's going on. And little Emerald is sort of sneaking, aha, and she has found some valuable things over there, is sneaking around. And Kikios, I would really like to have a child with Hikori by this point, because we can have 16 Nishlings in the tribe. So, Hikori, Kikios, let's have some babies with you two, huh? So let us see. The Nishling gods wish for Kikios to have ram horns. All right, very interesting. Ram horns for Kikios, and I want to give her nimble fingers because I feel like that's most useful and then for Hikori who is currently sickly unfortunately the Nishling gods wish for him to actually pass on medium body so they don't want to have that toxic body that he's currently got I think it's awesome I want him to possibly pass on normal eyesight so that he can have some healthy children let's go ahead and there we go and then step back because she is sickly then we're going to let her settle in right here eat some fruit, and have a baby. Wonderful. All right. Meanwhile, Jani can continue to just do her basic calls. Uh, and then we're going to take out this funnel. There we go. Get a little bit more food. And Mies, our strongest young nicheling. I want her to take out this plant, but I need bait for the plant. So I need somebody to come back and be my bait. Uh, and actually, I think her siblings will come and help her out with that soon. So we'll, we'll kind of have... Uh, Rana and the strongest of her blind siblings take out the plants. And I think I might actually release Kierduk again. I was keeping him. I mean, he could kind of gather food for us. But I'll have, to, I'll have to think about what I think is most important to do. Oh! Alright, we had a death! No! My little old gathering grandpa! Oh, he was so sweet. But he has indeed passed on from old age. Uh, and unfortunately, even with the nicheling up on top of this tree trunk, it is too far for Kierduk to really handle. But I think that Dukta, especially with a new apprentice, would be able to handle it. So Dukta is going to come and take up his father's place. And Kierduk can actually help out with gathering food here, which is pretty important, to be honest. So that'll work out fine. And then let's pop down here with Kiro. And Rana. Whoops, Rana, no! That was not the plan. That was not the plan. But look at that. That is how easily we have actually taken out that plant. So I think that now she's already ready to move over to the next one. And ready to take it out. So we do have one, two, three. Pretty strong nichelings right there. 
And they're pretty much our only strong nichelings, to be completely honest. And Korra is just ready to sort of like slow down a little, dig up, dig up some things to share with the family. Uh, oh, and it looks like there's some good stuff to dig on the other side there too. And her son is digging, trying to attack. He, he's got pretty feathers, but that's about it. And her daughter, I kind of want Emerald to do a little bit of exploring. I should definitely have checked for dangerous plants though. <gasps> Look how cute! Look how cute the baby between Hikori and Kilos is. I love her. She is an adorable little one. It looks like she has nimble fingers and a berina paw, really high fertility and normal eyesight. Beautiful, beautiful mix. I would love to see even more. So we're gonna have a little family right over here. We'll wait until the baby is grown before we start clearing out more things. Uh, and Hikori, I think, is quite glad that his daughter can actually see just fine. Meanwhile, a little Kirnu, you literally can do nothing but swim. We may release him to go become a wild water nicheling. Just saying. Uh, all right. And I'm going to have you jump over here, grab that food. You can go ahead and call a few times just in case we attract something interesting. And I need to keep my, my three strong nichelings together who can just take out any of these dangerous plants. Because there are a few dangerous plants popping up and we want to make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, so Rana, you stay there. Anything interesting? Poof, it's such- uh oh. Danger, danger, danger! Big danger! Mm, get it! Alright, come on. Save your brother. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice! Look at how quickly they can just take that out. Like, it's no big deal. All right, Johnny, I hate to volunteer you, but we're gonna volunteer you so that you can just pop right back out. I don't think she enjoyed that whatsoever, but she was willing to do it for the sake of keeping the family safe. So that's a relief at least. All right, well, taking care of those things, we'll never gather the last of this fruit because it will keep that plant from regrowing as a dangerous one. And now, Dukta has actually taken up his spot where his father once upon a time used to be and he's trying to guide little Vonro in the ways of collecting berries while Kier Duke can help out. So that's going well. Um, and I'm up to 15 nichelings. Who do we have left? All right, let's move our beautiful little meme down. We'll give her a proper name by next time too. Her mother will settle into the nest, get quite comfortable. Hikori, I think, will splash around in the water, try to stay somewhat close. And Duke Duke, I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with him just yet. But I'm going to let his sister Emerald be a little bit of a wandering nicheling. So she's going to wander at the edges. And I think that it's okay. I'm actually going to release little Kyunuro because I feel like he wants to just dive into the water. And his mom has kind of disappeared on him anyway. So this should be all right. Speaking of his mom, Cora is going to jump over to this side where she smelled some great roots. And I think even when the babies wander off a little bit, the whole tribe sort of feels like they have come together. We are beginning to repair the food. We are beginning to sort of conquer this side of the island. I feel like we have most of the genes discovered that we need. Um, so what do we have left? Round ears, which is only in story mode. Big ears, hot climate, burying a snout. Mm, we might need a Berina baby for that. Poison fangs, which we haven't unlocked yet. Antenna, which we saw but didn't unlock. Bird beak, haven't unlocked yet. Lean body, wings, scorpion tail, swimming tail, tail fin, mammoth foot. So I think the only thing we can really unlock here, if other than finding wandering nichelings to randomly join our tribe, would be that tail fin. So let's see if we can unlock all of the genes with the whims, because that would be kind of exciting. So all right, next time when we come back, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that little swimming guy, but we will begin to try to unlock tail fin and try to get our food stores up pretty high before we prepare to leave for the next island and carry on with our nicheling adventures. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.